So the first ingredient of the seven ingredients for success, number one is strength. This is stamina, mental or physical, sticking to it, doing thorough work, fighting to make a change, determination to overcome obstacles, pushing through the crowd, holding your own. This is also perseverance, seeing your object and marching straight to it, firm in your determination and purpose. Getting solid with this ingredient means you're willing to be proactive in making it happen for you. This is about going on offense and not quitting until the job is done. Strength also means having the ability to use it and to use it when necessary in a very destructive way. In working towards success, there will be obstacles and you can't always go around them. So sometimes those obstacles need to be destroyed. If you possess the correct levels of destructiveness, other people will know that you are destructive just by being in your presence. And most will never even challenge you. That's the winning of a fight without fighting. You can foster this type of strength by being physically imposing. And if that's not possible, then at the very least, stand up straight, look people in the eye, and speak clearly and with purpose. Often that alone will beat a physically imposing stature. Usually in carrying yourself with the type of presence, with that type of presence, the obstacles will never even materialize. You'll recognize someone that possesses the correct levels of strength because they will handle the trivial details in the midst of chaos. Because it's not chaos to them and those details are not trivial. If you have an excess of strength and continuity, then you'll find yourself stuck in your failing ways and not adapting as conditions on the ground change. Sticking to old ways even though they, they no longer serve you. An excess of strength is stubbornness. And at that point, you're still fighting just for the purpose of fighting rather than to achieve some end. Fighting for the sake of fighting is useless. It doesn't serve your ultimate goal of being successful. Similarly, an excess of strength manifested in the form of unnecessary destructiveness can also be harmful. Possessing the correct levels of destructiveness means that you destroy the obstacles that need to be destroyed and no more. Excess levels of destructiveness breed resentment and resentment will create more obstacles that you'd ever otherwise never have to contend with. In excess, you're a tyrant imposing your will on anyone who will oblige, taking advantage, creating enemies. You lose focus because you want it all. You don't want to leave any crumbs on the table. In lack, things seem like work. You wait th for things to find you. You try to do the bare minimum to get it done. You then get pushed around. You get sidetracked by outside forces. You're always chasing the latest trend and shiny things. You give in too much and compromise on your principles. If this trait is balanced, you take what you need and no more. You're fair. When you make a deal, your word is your bonds. 